Uh, well, I've heard about the programme from uh, some of my peers and colleagues, and it has a content that's, um, I think, very useful for what I'm trying to achieve from it, and it has a very good reputation across the market. I found everything very interesting, but the two that really stuck out was power and politics, which was an extremely insightful experience into the behavioural activity. Um, and the other one was uh, influencing above and across an organisation, which again was a fascinating experience. Now, I would recommend this programme to, to anybody who's trying to uh, understand more about leadership and to uh, get more involved in management uh, within their organisation. It's been a fascinating experience from my perspective. It's been a lot of energy um, One's encouraged to become involved in it and, and to be very open about your own experiences and what you're trying to achieve. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, but I've really enjoyed it. The virtual session is very helpful because it enables you to have an understanding about the course that you're going to, to be on. The course is quite intense and I think if you've been able to do some preparation beforehand, and to have a bit of thought about what you're going to be listening to and, and being taught about, it's extremely helpful. I think in terms of why, so why pick uh, this course was really around the credibility of Cranfield. So there's something about your credibility in the whole management area. Um, but also the course, the idea of doing some on the practical side and the idea of bringing some of the networking, so learning as a group rather than just sitting in front of a tutorial um, and just learning from lectures. So participation was a definite strong point. You know, I'm taking over responsibility for a new team. I need to develop strategies for how to deal with that. So the course has really enabled me to do that and develop those strategies and put them in place and feedback and then use the network really as a sounding board. So with things that didn't work out quite as well as I planned um, and to refine those strategies. So it's been a very useful experience. I'd recommend the program to other people. I think it's very useful, particularly for organizations that are really currently thinking about changes within their staffing structures, with developing new teams. The structure of the course has worked very well. So certainly, obviously, coming in face-to-face -face and meeting people on the course is, is always helpful. It helps to build up those contacts. But then the virtual learning um, obviously supports that. So you, you can't um, maintain contact physically over time unless we're, you know, we're, we're going to be in... You know, in the classroom for six months at a time, which is not practical if you're working out there in the in the real world. Yeah. Virtual learning is 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 quite interesting because most companies now, mm -hmm. the big problem you have is taking staff out. So what you you know, unless you're doing a master's course, where you're looking at taking staff out for a very long period of time for a professional qualification then the blended learning bit where you, you come in for maybe two days. So most organisations can lose their staff for two days, not literally. Um, but then you know, doing that where you can pick up some of the, the virtual bit in between so you can still have contact with the members on the course, but then building up those networks that do last longer than the course. So you know, the course is important, but almost as important as the network which is ongoing.